Ever stop to think how the things you use every day get to you? The phone in your hand, the food on your table, the clothes on your back? It's a modern day miracle made possible by the trucking industry. Trucking is the backbone of our economy, a massive network of drivers and powerful machines. These drivers are the unsung heroes of our supply chain, spending long hours on the road, often away from their families, to ensure goods reach businesses and consumers. But this vital industry faces challenges, a growing driver shortage, concerns about safety, and the environmental impact of millions of trucks on the road. Did you know that the American Trucking Association estimates a shortage of over 80,000 drivers? This shortage is projected to double by 2031. Enter artificial intelligence, AI, a technology poised to revolutionize the trucking industry. Imagine self-driving trucks navigating highways, optimizing routes, and even predicting maintenance needs. Companies like Waymo, Aurora, Tesla, and others are investing billions in developing autonomous trucking technology. Some key points about these bigger players. Waymo. This is a subsidiary of Alphabet, Google's parent company. Waymo is considered a leader in self-driving technology. They focus on developing robotaxis and autonomous trucking. Their approach is to concentrate on detailed mapping and extensive testing. One of their most notable achievements is being the first to launch a commercial self-driving robotaxi service. Aurora. Founded by personnel originally associated with Google's Waymo project, Tesla, and Carnegie Mellon University's Robotics Institute. They focus on developing self-driving technology for long-haul trucking and commercial vehicle fleets. Their approach is to concentrate on highway driving and developing partnerships with truck manufacturers. A notable achievement is their expanding autonomous trucking network, Tesla. The last on this list highlighting three examples of major players in the self-driving vehicle industry. Tesla was founded in 2003 by engineers who wanted to create a high-performance electric sports car. They focus on full self-driving for consumer vehicles. Their approach is to concentrate on highway driving and establishing partnerships with trucking manufacturers. A notable achievement is their large-scale FSD beta deployment. As a side note, large-scale FSD beta deployment for Tesla refers to the ongoing process of releasing their full self-driving FSD software to a wider group of Tesla owners who have purchased the FSD capability. This beta program allows Tesla to gather real-world driving data and feedback from users to improve the system's capabilities and safety. It's important to note that as of late 2023, FSD beta is still not fully autonomous and requires drivers to remain attentive and ready to take over at any time. Tesla emphasizes that it's a work in progress and continues to improve the system through ongoing development and testing. These are only some of a larger group of players in this industry. They are creating and developing sophisticated systems that use sensors, cameras, LIDAR, radar, and complex algorithms to allow trucks to see and interpret the road and make driving decisions. Self-driving trucks use these advanced algorithms and sensors to navigate roads. Here's how it works. Self-driving trucks are implementing something called sensor fusion. This combines data from multiple sensors for a comprehensive view. This is the process of combining data from multiple sensors to create a single data point that is more accurate and dependable than any one sensor alone. The goal is to make a more robust and confident decision. Explained simply, imagine you're trying to figure out if it's raining outside. You could look out the window, but maybe it's foggy and hard to see. You could also listen for raindrops, but maybe you're hearing other noises. Sensor fusion is like using both your eyes and your ears to decide if it's raining. By combining what you see and hear, you can be more sure of your answer. Each of your senses is like a sensor, and your brain is like a computer that combines the information from each sensor. This helps you make better decisions, like whether or not to take an umbrella when you go outside. So, sensor fusion is like having superpowers that let you make better decisions by combining information from different sources. Convolutional Neural Networks, CNNs. These analyze images to identify objects and understand the road scene. Imagine you have a special magnifying glass that can only see certain shapes, like lines or circles. You slide this magnifying glass over a picture of a cat. Each time you move it, you look for those shapes. If you find enough of them in the right places, you know it's a cat. CNNs work like that. They have filters that look for simple things in an image, like edges or corners. 
Then they combine those findings to understand bigger things like a stop sign or a pedestrian. It's like putting together a puzzle to figure out what's in the picture. Supervised learning. This trains algorithms on labeled data to improve accuracy. Imagine you're teaching a dog a new trick, like shaking hands. You show the dog what you want by taking their paw and saying shake. This is like giving the algorithm labeled data. You give the dog a treat when they do it right. This is like rewarding the algorithm for being accurate. The dog learns to shake hands to get the treat. This is like the algorithm learning to make accurate predictions. That's kind of like supervised learning. We give the computer lots of examples with answers, so it learns to find the answers on its own. Real-time processing. This ensures rapid decision-making while driving. Imagine your brain is like a computer in a car. Real-time processing is like how fast your brain can think and react. When you're driving, you need to make quick decisions, like if a ball rolls into the street or if the car in front of you suddenly stops. Real-time processing helps the car's computer think super fast, just like your brain, so it can help you stay safe. Key algorithms include object detection, such as YOLO, YOLO, you only look once, is a real-time object detection algorithm that uses a single neural network to predict bounding boxes and class probabilities for objects in an image in one pass. Imagine a computer program that can look at a picture and instantly find all the objects in it, like people, cars, or animals, and draw boxes around them with labels. That's what YOLO does. This identifies objects like cars and pedestrians. Lane detection. This detects lane markings to keep the truck in its lane. Semantic segmentation classifies different parts of an image for a deeper understanding of the environment. Imagine you have a picture of a busy street. Semantic segmentation is like coloring in different parts of the picture based on what they are. You might color all the cars red, all the people blue, and all the buildings green. This helps the computer understand what's in the image and where everything is located. It's like giving the computer a map of the picture. Path planning calculates the best route based on obstacles, road conditions, and traffic laws. Imagine you're playing a video game where you have to drive a car through a city to deliver a pizza. Path planning is like the game figuring out the best way for you to get to the pizza place without crashing into anything, getting stuck in traffic, or breaking any rules like driving the wrong way down a one-way street. Briefly, LiDAR, light detection and ranging, is a remote sensing technology that uses laser pulses to measure distances to objects. By analyzing the reflected light, LiDAR creates detailed 3D maps of the surrounding environment. Imagine a superhero with laser vision who can see in 3D. That's kind of what LiDAR is like. LiDAR uses lasers to measure how far away things are. It's like a super accurate ruler that uses light instead of a tape measure. By bouncing these lasers off objects and analyzing how long it takes for the light to come back, LiDAR can create incredibly detailed 3D maps of its surroundings. Think of it like this. You throw a tennis ball at a wall, and you know how fast the ball travels. By measuring how long it takes for the ball to hit the wall and come back to you, you can figure out how far away the wall is. LiDAR does the same thing, but with lasers and at the speed of light. These 3D maps are super useful for all sorts of things, like making self-driving cars that can see the world around them, helping archaeologists discover hidden ruins, or even creating video games with realistic landscapes. Radar is a detection system that uses radio waves to determine the range, angle, or velocity of objects. It can be used to detect aircraft, ships, spacecraft, guided missiles, motor vehicles, weather formations, and terrain. Imagine your eyes could send out invisible waves that bounce off things and come back to you even in the dark. That's kind of like how radar works. Radar is like a superhero sense that uses special radio waves, kind of like the ones that bring music to your radio. These waves are invisible, but they can travel really far and bounce off things like airplanes, ships, and even raindrops. When these waves bounce back to the radar, it can tell how far away something is, how fast it's moving, and even what direction it's going. It's like a super-powered game of Marco Polo. So, radar helps us see things we can't see with our eyes, like planes in the sky, ships in the sea, and even storms coming our way. It's a really cool technology that helps keep us safe and helps us understand the world around us. Algorithms are sets of rules or instructions that computers follow to solve problems. In self-driving trucks, algorithms process information from sensors and cameras, like distances to other cars, lane markings, and traffic lights, to make decisions about how to drive, such as when to accelerate, brake, or change lanes. 
This was an extremely generalized overview and breakdown of how trucks see and utilize artificial intelligence to process the information they obtain to make decisions. I hope it was clear and understandable. One of the biggest questions is, what happens to truck drivers? While some jobs may be displaced, AI is also creating new opportunities in areas like fleet management, software development, and remote truck operation. Think of it as a shift in skills, not just a loss of jobs. Drivers can become remote operators, overseeing multiple trucks from a central location, ensuring safety and efficiency. AI-powered trucks can operate nearly 24-7, reducing delivery times and potentially eliminating supply chain bottlenecks. Imagine getting your online orders even faster. AI can optimize routes and fuel consumption, leading to significant cost savings and a reduced carbon footprint. This could be a game changer for businesses and the environment. Increased efficiency and productivity can boost economic growth. Businesses can transport goods faster and cheaper, potentially leading to lower prices for consumers. Autonomous trucking could open up new trade routes and markets, especially in remote or underserved areas. Human error is a major factor in truck accidents. AI has the potential to reduce accidents caused by fatigue, distraction, or driver impairment. AI systems can react faster than humans to potential hazards, improving overall road safety for everyone. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration estimates that 94% of serious crashes are due to human error. AI could significantly reduce that number. The future of trucking is exciting and full of possibilities. While there are challenges to overcome, AI offers a path toward a safer, more efficient, and sustainable industry. By embracing innovation and adapting to change, we can ensure that the trucking industry continues to play its vital role in our economy and our daily lives. Trucks move over 70% of all freight tonnage in the United States. That means the majority of goods you use every day traveled by truck at some point. The trucking industry employs over 8.9 million people in the U.S. That includes drivers, mechanics, dispatchers, and many other support roles. There are over 3.5 million truck drivers in the U.S. alone, and they drive an estimated 140 billion miles each year. The average truck driver drives around 2,000 to 3,000 miles per week. That's a lot of time on the road. Truck drivers are required to keep detailed logs of their driving hours. This is to ensure they are following regulations and getting enough rest to stay safe. The first semi-trailer truck was invented in 1898 by Alexander Winton. He needed a way to deliver his cars to customers. The largest truck in the world is the Belaz 75710. It's over 65 feet long and can carry over 450 tons. Some trucks have more than 18 gears. This allows them to haul heavy loads and navigate different terrains. Truck drivers use CB radios to communicate with each other. This can be helpful for sharing information about traffic, road conditions, and good places to stop. The trucking industry is a major contributor to the U.S. economy. It generates over $791 billion in revenue each year, as well as to Uncle Sam. The most common type of truck is the semi-trailer truck. This type of truck consists of a tractor unit that pulls a separate trailer. Refrigerated trucks are used to transport perishable goods like food and medicine. These trucks are essential for keeping our grocery stores stocked. Tanker trucks are used to transport liquids and gases. This includes everything from milk to gasoline. Flatbed trucks are used to transport large and bulky items. This can include anything from construction equipment to lumber. The world's longest truck route is the Pan American Highway. It stretches over 30,000 miles from Alaska to Argentina. Truck drivers often decorate their trucks with custom paint jobs and accessories. This is a way for them to express their personality and make their truck feel like home. There are truck driving schools all across the country. These schools teach students the skills they need to become a professional truck driver. The trucking industry is facing a shortage of drivers. This is due to a number of factors, including an aging workforce and a lack of young people entering the industry. Self-driving trucks are being developed and tested. This technology could potentially revolutionize the trucking industry. Truck platooning is a technology that allows trucks to drive close together in a line. This can improve fuel efficiency and reduce traffic congestion. Many truck drivers are owner-operators. This means they own their own truck and operate their own business. Truck stops provide a place for truck drivers to rest, eat, and refuel. They are an important part of the trucking industry. 
The trucking industry is regulated by the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, FMCSA. This agency sets safety standards for trucks and drivers. Truck drivers play an important role in our supply chain. They deliver the goods that we rely on every day. National Truck Driver Appreciation Week is celebrated every year in September. This is a time to thank truck drivers for their hard work and dedication. My name is Amanda B. Reckoned with and I'm the sweet and sultry voice of this video that was brought to you by Fultz at Outward Divergence and Through the Eyes of a Trucker. You all have yourselves a great day and keep on trucking.